Hi and welcome to another 360 degree video. The best way to watch these videos is on your phone. Make sure you have selected the highest resolution to watch this video in and you are going to be able to move your phone and look wherever you want to while we play this hole. Now today we're at one of the most famous or infamous holes in the whole of golf and has recently been causing quite a stir at the 151st Open Championship. It's the 17th Little Eye at Royal Liverpool. So we're going to play it and you're going to be able to walk down this hole with us and you're going to be able to look around, see all the undulations, see all the deep bunkers and it'll be as if you're actually here as well. So pretty cool. Hopefully you'll like it. So my watch is saying 135 but it's uphill and the wind's hurting so I haven't got a clue what to it. I think I'm going to try and do a little knockdown eight, I think. So there is no miss on this hole. It is hit the green or you're in big trouble. So you feel quite nervous. Oh, I've played one. Oh, hello. Oh, you can't really see it come down, can you? But I've got a feeling that's pretty good. What are you hitting? One more. One more. Okay. a bit is that bunkerish hmm see what it's like when we get down there okay so like we say we're gonna walk down we'll show you all the deep bunkers all the runoffs all the undulation I mean it is only a very short hole it's uh, I mean we just played it off the back tee there so that's where the pros were playing it off in the open so it's only 135 yards from there but it's absolutely fraught with danger so people who had quite a lot of trouble here unfortunately Tommy Fleetwood in the last round uh, Lucas Herbert in round one he was three under and one of the leaders and ended up having a six so there were a few casualties but not quite as many as were maybe predicted so here's the first really big bunker. So there is nothing for being short whatsoever. And obviously there's this one here, just to the right of the path with the big riveted face. And like anything that is short of the green is just running back down into that bunker. So I'll, I'll take it round to the front of the bunker So, as you can see here, anything from the front here is a very, very, very steep downhill slope and there's just nothing going to stop it going into down there. On this side here, there is another deep bunker. This, if you're going to miss it, probably this is the bunker to miss it. Oh my God, do you want to see your ball? See where Gareth's ball's gone. We're going to have to watch you try and play that, mate. I'm sorry. I mean, that... Wow. I mean, I just don't... If you get this out, mate, it's going to be... Almost impossible, I think. Almost impossible. Great shot. Yeah, very nice shot. I've got to say, I've just seen where my ball is. My goodness. <laughs> I am very happy with that shot. And then if we come over onto this side, there's the big grandstand for the open. Again, just a massive steep drop off. 
down into this bunker and I mean if we come down here you can then kind of see just how steep that is so you know the the members get stuck in here and they're either not getting it out and it keeps coming rolling back down but then they go over the other side and they go into the other bunker and Gareth who's a member who's kindly invited me down today tells me that members rack up kind of over you know get over 20 shots on this hole in medal competitions so it is brutally hard so just come back down here and just have a look at the front bunker and I'll just get my putter tell you what I'm happy with that <laughs> I am very happy with that thank you so I'll just plonk this down hopefully it won't blow over in the wind That's a great four. That is a great four, <laughs> considering where that tee shot finished up. Okay. There's got to be some left to right in this. Come on, Craig, a two here would be fantastic. Just pick your line and stroke it through. <gasps> you gotta be kidding. What an anticlimax that was. Oh. There you go. Three is always a good score on this hole though. I'll just quickly take you to the back of the hole as well just to see the big drop off if you go big. So this is where Tommy Fleetwood went down there in the final round. So again, you're absolutely dead down there. So yeah, that's it, little eye. What an amazing little par three. And it just shows that you don't need to have a 200 to 250 yard par three to make it a hard hole. This is the hardest par three you could ever wish to play. And it's only 130 yards and sometimes it plays as little as 100 yards. Fantastic hole. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it's worked really well for you. And I'll see you in the next video.